Gil, let me ask you something. When y'all were doing that, uh, because people ask me this all the time when they be talking to me. When y'all was in the midst of the Goody Mob run, when y'all first getting started, y'all doing soul food, y'all doing all this great album stuff. At that time, did you know that y'all were making history? That y'all were going to be as great as y'all were? Did you know 30 years later you'd be sitting right here as a legend with a, with a man telling you it's, gonna, it's the best album ever came out in hip hop. 50,000 albums don't came I, out. I, I, I didn't know that at the time because remember at the time we couldn't hear the records. We were recording them and we didn't hear the records to the end of the album. Mm. So I didn't know what we had until the end of, the, the end of Soul Food was done. And even with that, um, I only know we was living in the gangster world in. Mm. You know, everything was gangster, everything was gangster, gangster, gangster. All I knew that it, I could take it to Big Mama and let her hear it. Wow. You know what I mean? And she loved it. So for me, I think that I could only go about it in the way of hoping that I had someone that I could go to Mama and them, I could go to Mama and them and let them hear guess who, guess who and feel like I'm doing their rap, but I did something for you too. Right. Yeah. So I didn't know it was gonna be this, but I knew I had made my elders proud. Wow. Wow. So that 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 was my whole goal of doing music was to not wind up a statistic and then at the same time prove to them that you can have a dream and you can make it work. That's right. Wow. I was watching the Suge Knight podcast. They were talking about the uh, One Nation project, man. Yeah. And they were like, they had like 60 records recorded for that. I was trying to figure out, did y'all get on in on that? No, because we were going to record our records in Atlanta. Pac wanted to record those records in okay. Atlanta. You okay. know, his main thing was, like, I'm going to record the rest of this stuff out here that, that you know, on the West on the west Coast. And then yeah. when I get to Atlanta, I really want to sit with y'all and figure out how to come about it. So I just think it was a a, a plan that we just didn't get to, mm. you know, but we had spoke about it that night. Like, he was like, shoot, you know, when I finish this, I'm coming to Atlanta. His whole thing was, let me finish these albums with Shug, then I'm moving to Atlanta, period. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he felt like once he got to Atlanta – he was gonna be shedding that energy and mm -hmm. moving more into this energy. And I just don't think he had, he got he got the opportunity. Exactly. Mm. That Atlanta energy, this is for everybody, man. That 90s Atlanta energy to oh, this 2020 man. Atlanta energy, man. How do y'all feel like it's the same and how do y'all feel like it's changed at the same time? Get in here, Scott. The playerism gone. Oh. Ain't no player. That's how playlistic, you know what I'm saying? That yeah, gone. That's real. That's the whole part gone. Yeah. So, so like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I think it's just more about the money uh, putting on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and like I say, it's supposed, everything going to change, but you still got to have those elements, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they keep you grounded. And I think, like I say, going back to what we're doing now, that's yeah. where it's at. You know what I'm saying? The city can get, because you, you control media, you control cities. That's right. You can find spaces, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But when you get out there where it's rural, where you got influence, you can talk to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the influence ain't as much. Exactly. That's what we're tapping into. For a person that doesn't, um, if you know, hadn't heard uh, Southern Soul, mm -hmm. hadn't 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 heard, or you don't know what it is, what would you, what would you describe it as? What would you say to the the person that you know that, that has no idea what you're even talking about? All right. So I think everybody know what rhythm and blues is. Not R&B is a sense of what, how they pushed it on you, like R&B. Mm -hmm. But rhythm, blues, Johnny Taylor, them, rhythm, blues. Mm -hmm. Blues, Southern Soul is just some Southern artists with a Southern draw from Mississippi to Alabama. We all sound a little different, but it's country. Mm -hmm. On some soul for records, but now they got a little more 808 in there or something. Mm -hmm. It still got that bluesy guitar riffs in it. Yeah. And it's it feel good. So most people say cookout music. Gotcha. Like if I was to do a record with somebody from New York, it would be Max B. Yeah. Cause he had that New York cookout music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it would make sense to connect the two. That's how they relate. Like it's more like a Southern Max Beat type of cookout music. That's right. With a little more soul in it though, a little churchy. I yeah, wish yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish Cutting up though, cutting the food. Cause you got trail ride blues too. Mm -hmm. Like Gita Jones, all them, uh, DJ Truck, all them. That's the trail ride blues is inside of Southern Soul. Yeah. That's okay. more of the line dancing, the cutting up, the cutting the food records. You know, like the the funny records, yeah, chicken, yeah. And whatever they do, all the, you know, the acting with. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's like trail ride blues, though. It's just fun, though. Like everybody's out, have a good time. 
you know, you get out toward Texas and them trail rides, now you got real outlaws and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you, got, yeah. you got to be ready to go out there. Them real cowboys out there. Yeah, but, I mean, they ain't not saying no disrespect like that to the other cowboys. I'm saying, like, it's more serious out there on that side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, that Texas. Yeah, that, that side of the trail rides. 